Brotherhood of St. Andrew is, is a fellowship of men and boys that are brought together with a common goal, and that is to raise up and glorify the Lordship of Jesus, uh, to live that out in their lives, and uh, truly allow themselves to be a reflection of His love and the living out of the Gospel wherever they are. And one of the things that drew me into the Brotherhood 40 years ago was it provided a framework in which I could uh, develop a discipline in my own life with respect to prayer, study, and service, and to do that in the fellowship and the communion of the church. The Brotherhood was originally founded in 1883 by a layman named James Hodling. This occurred in, uh, in Chicago, Illinois, where he approached his priest and asked if he and some friends of his could pray for the priest. And he said yes. So they met in the basement of this church in Chicago uh, to pray for their rector and to pray in general about other things. Then they be began to study the Bible um, at the recommendation of the priest. And out of that uh, grew a desire for them to reach out to other men. The emblem that we wear uh, today uh, has an X on it with a circle around it. That X uh, depicts the shape of the cross where our patron St. Andrew uh, was crucified. Well, it's an opportunity for men to come together not like a club, not like a men's club. We've got a men's club. But this is an opportunity for us to talk about spiritual issues, personal issues, share them in, in faith with the other brothers, and also to be the strength for each other, to build up each other. Men need that. Being able to be a part of a men's group that can study the Bible and bear their souls to each other about what it means to take that into the world and incorporate it in your lives is an opportunity that very few people ever get. It's something that my life would be different without. It wouldn't be the same. Yeah, I became a brother because of the, the spiritual component. The service projects just weren't doing it all for me and uh, there was a, a need for further spiritual development and uh, I've realized that through the brotherhood. I believe what's unique about the Brotherhood of St. Andrew is that we're different from um, the typical church men's club or men's group. In my experience, they have a tendency to uh, focus on uh, fellowship, particularly where there's food around, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, there is prayer interspersed, but ours is a, a disciplined ministry where we are all um, committed to these disciplines of daily prayer, regular Bible study, and committed service in that order of priority. And I believe that's what makes us unique because these disciplines bond us together as a band of brothers uh, or soldiers for Christ. Brotherhood can offer a local congregation uh, a sense of new life in a new way. Uh, the raising up of ministry in areas where ministry maybe hasn't existed in the past. Creating awareness within men that there's a fellowship there that can reach out and touch lives, change them. I think particularly in this day and age with uh, some of the difficulties that are being encountered with young people, uh, there's tremendous opportunity for through the Brotherhood for there to be a change within the fabric of the community and uh, the development and nurturing of the lives of the young people. I hope to see more youngsters, uh, youth um, person involved in the Brotherhood, be it at conventions or abroad, however they can spread the glory of Christ's kingdom. I have a few reasons why I'm a member of the Brotherhood. One reason is legacy because I'm following my father's footsteps. I'm trying to I see how the Lord has helped him and that's what I'm trying to do with my life. And another reason is because the, the old type of organization is it's kind of like a fraternity and it's like well, everybody has the same type of goal, everybody's looking for the Lord and looking for his guidance and it's just a group of people that are interested in that and that want to learn more. 
what are men looking for? And that's made me make a deeper search for myself. Why, why do I want to be with other men and the camaraderie and sharing uh, Christ with other people? Well, I think maybe men are looking for a guidance. They're looking for a purpose. Our ministry has a primary purpose. And it's divided into uh, two components, our mission and our vision. In my parish, the Brotherhood sort of provides leadership almost for all the other ministries. And we do everything we can to assist our rector. And that's what the benefit is for the church. Dependable partners in ministry. For me as the rector of the church, it is a group of men that seriously take their faith and that get together and study scripture uh, there are a group of men that I can count on in the parish that are going to put the scripture into service, uh, both within the parish and outside of the parish. It's meant a great deal in that way. It's going to strengthen the ministry of that, of that congregation because it's going to bring men together in a different setting than is normally experienced within a, in a parish church, where usually uh, the work of the men is more focused on uh, visible ministries of outreach and other things. Yeah, and what this does is bring a focus of spirituality to it. We serve in regions of the United States, otherwise known as provinces. Uh, there are eight regions of the Episcopal Church in the United States, and we have a presence of the Brotherhood of St. Andrew, some form of presence in all eight of those regions. We serve the Episcopal Church nationally in the United States, and also the worldwide Anglican Communion. So our extension is worldwide. Actually, I feel like Jesus is with me now. I mean, when I went to church before, you didn't necessarily get that feeling. When I come into that room, Jesus is in that room for the meetings. When I go into my local chapter meetings, He's there. And I, I really feel that I'm a lot closer. And as far as my own personal life, I mean, it's just, it's really helped fill me out as a person. Well, the Brotherhood of St. Andrew uh, gives you an opportunity to give back. You know, we're, we're blessed to be a blessing. And uh, at least the service aspect with Habitat, uh, that's really significant in my life. I think uh, before I went to the Brotherhood, I went to church largely because my wife went to church. And it brought me closer to learn more about Christ and his teachings and to become a better person in terms of working with my other brothers. One of the things that excites me, excites me about being a, a brother and a member of the Brotherhood of St. Andrew is the opportunity to spend some quality time with, with other men uh, in, in prayer and study and fellowship and in service. And uh, there aren't that many opportunities in a Christian context to do that and I really enjoy it. It's giving me an opportunity to provide service to other people. It's giving me an opportunity to pray for other people all the time. It's giving me an opportunity to team up with other men. It's giving me an opportunity to understand the tremendous role that a man can play in the home and in the church to help the church at large. These are the opportunities it's provided for me. And this is what's helping me to grow. Got a long way to go, but I have something to look forward to each day.